Hello everyone, this is Ankur Gupta and this is my 11th video on Jasper Reports. In this video, I'll be talking about how to apply styles in Jasper Reports and what what are basically styles uh, help, how does it help in uh, creating more, accu more uh, intuitive and more kind of uh, informative uh, reports, more targeted ones like highlighting a uh, uh, error error uh, message or something anything could be done by styles implementing so to start with let me just tell you what does style basically mean in jasper reports so basically styles are more like css in html which we are we already know like or the building blocks of the uh, of this of a website basically is the designing and the styling so styling refers to the coloring of of elements or uh, deleting it or or changing the outlines or more a lot many things could be done achieved like i will be taking you through in the in the further of my video so basically there are two methodologies which could be followed for jasper reports for uh, as far as styles are concerned First of all, styles could be created in the report itself. There is a node called styles, and there we could add a new style and and conditional formatting and a lot more we could 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 do. Or what to increase the modularity of the styles? Suppose you have a style which is common for hundred reports, so you won't be going on creating for the styles for each and every report. That would be kind of a tedious job. So for that, there is a uh, where we could create a JRTX file. JRTX is the extension of the style file which could be stored locally as a .jrxml file or .jasper file is stored and simply we could include it into our uh, any uh, any of the report and use the styles and the properties of the styles which we have will declare in the JRTX files. So the prerequisite for this would be just the iReport or the Jaspersoft Studio which would enable you to apply the styles to your reports now let me just start with the demo so to save some time i have already created a report here and let me just show you what styles have i applied uh, to create a new template what we could do is we could click on new file then new and we could just drag down you could see here the style style could be just finished and we could have a new style we will save and we will see we will see it later and I have already created a style in which I have already included in this report so let me just open it over here So I will just show you how what does it include. So let me just preview this report. Uh, I'm checking the country USA, and see there is a band changes, and there is header is changed, and the ship name is of becoming some yellow color. And we clicked on USA. So what is happening on the USA cells is on that ship country. The USA is getting highlighted and encircled. That as if we are checking, we are checking for USA. So it's highlighted in the report and easy to identify which field belongs to USA and could be sorted upon that. So this is how the styles come handy. To do that, what we have to do is like. First of all, I will start with the conditional styling. So, this I have named a style called alternate bands. In this, we need to add a conditional. If we right click onto this style, we could add conditional style. Now, conditional style is when a condition is fulfilled, and according to that, styling is done. So, I will just show the properties of this. So, 
uh, here are the properties what I have done is I have changed the background color and the four color so normal one remains white and the other one changes to green so how is that calculated is this is a report count variable which counts the number of records in the detail band so so the number of counts in the band could be model I have modulus of two which will produce an even and odd kind of set so will be alternate and alternation would give me the required scenario which is the alternate bands colored now the heading which you could see is of a light red color and the dark red color is the, the text so I've just simply modified the four color the background color and to apply this what I have done I have just navigate to this see I've just got into the properties of the heading here and applied the style over here style So the heading one, I've simply create, declared a style, and that I have included in the in the style over here. This is the heading which I'm using. Even I could apply the alternate bands and stuff, but it won't work here as it is the heading. So now moving on to the country check, like which I am highlighting it using USA. So what we need to do is simply what I've done, I created a condition that if the ship country equals the country name which I'm entering through parameter, then simply change the color, the design. I have just changing the back color to white and I have just pinned the solid and colored it with red. So and and also this is even simpler to achieve and in this one I will just add the style called find country check this is rather very easy to do and this will replicate whatever uh, whatever the country name we enter so these are three which I declared this is the custom file now here in uh, what we could do is I will just show you how to create it like I have earlier shown but it seems to not open again so let me just show you I will just name it style template one I'll just finish it how it looks like is this it's pretty simple and and see there is a new style created we, you could create as many as styles in it and a template reference template reference would uh, refer to the reference to some other template or grtx file which could be linked up over here so suppose the headings are there and if those headings are there then uh, the body portion could be declared in another one and so on it re really depends on your need and modularity of the report which you want so now here in the style you could just go on to suppose I will just change the back color to green so see what is happening is graphic elements are text field or the or this this is a rectangle this is an ellipse so you see the line color is changing if I change the four color four color is the text color you will see the changes in the text elements so it's pretty decent in, in looking and very easy to configure basically now see the outlines of the graphic elements have also gone to red and this could be saved and again it could be like if I go to here if I want to include a style reference I could easily include a style reference over here so this is it for the styles in the Jasper reports and I once again preview and show you what we have done this one is coming this coloring or alternate bands like white and green is coming through alternate bands this heading which is uh, ship address as in red and the light red color as the background is coming from the headings and the USA check is coming from USA check 
style so i suppose it's pretty clear like how to use the styles in jasper report and it could really come in handy in some uh, reports wherein you need to check things or you want to highlight something so i will say a really handy tool really for watching my video uh, if you like my video you could follow me on twitter ankur underscore aug my twitter handle you could follow me on facebook or you could see my profile over linkedin or you could tune into my blog spot which is www.ankurthetechie.blogspot.in now here you could grab more information and more solutions to the to the there were problems which people face in jasper reports i have some great solutions over there so you could just have a look over there or you could g plus me this is my profile link thank you for watching